What's up guys, welcome back to another video So I drove the F80 yesterday I was trying to do a couple of draggy runs And um, I think I might have a boost leak Because when I give the car to auto The, the turbo suction noise, the intake sounds a lot, a lot louder than it usually is which uh, make me feel like I think I might have a boost leak. So I'm just gonna go ahead and check right now. Look over the car and make sure there's nothing loose. It's a little bit dark in here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and, and remove the strut brace and then I'm gonna check all my charge pipes and all the hoses that goes to the J pipe as well. might be this clamp right here because there's a little bit of oil residue on my charge pipe yeah that's really greasy that's not right These are a little bit harder to get to. But these seems like they were a little loose. Hopefully that's all it was and this does the trick. I'm gonna use my 10 millimeter ratchet wrench. Oh man, they do feel like they were loose. So whenever you have a boost leak guys, these are the common areas you wanna check. You wanna check your charge pipe. Make sure your V-band is tight. These two right here. You also want to check these right here. This right here. There's a couple of the hoses. I think I'm going to go ahead and remove the intake. And I'm going to show you guys the J pipe. There's a couple of the hoses you want to make sure you check on the J pipe as well. Make sure it's on there properly. Also, you want to make sure your charge pipe did not come loose from the turbo on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see. Seems like it's still on there. So to check your J-pipe, all you wanna do is remove the intake. And I, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and remove my overflow tank, your cooler in the reservoir. 
and you should be able to see the J pipe. Make sure everything is on there properly. Oops. Alright guys, with the coolant reservoir to the side, as you guys can see, the J-pipe, everything seems to be on there properly. So hopefully, it was just these loose on the charge pipe, and hopefully that fixes it. Because I have a dyno day coming up pretty soon. I don't want to have any booze leak when, I, when I'm actually trying to have the car dyno. So yeah guys, um, I'm just going to go ahead and tighten these as well. So you just pretty much want to go and double check all your, your V-bands and all your hoses. Make sure they're all connected properly. There's one on the bottom right here. There's another one right here. This one come to the intake pipe right here. You want to make sure all of those are tight. You want to make sure these are tight as well. Man, this thing keeps going. Does anybody know the torque for these bolts? Leave a comment below. Alright guys, so these are all the places you want to check when looking for a uh, boost leak where the charge pipe go mounted to the turbo. As you guys can see, mine is secure. They didn't come off. So hopefully, the oil residue that was on the charge pipe right here was my problem. These were a little loose. They didn't come off completely, but just a little loose. As you guys saw the oil residue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything back together and I'm gonna do a test drive. All right guys, so remember when looking for a boost leak, you wanna make sure these clamps right here, these two right here are tight. This one right here too. You wanna make sure this is tight as well. This one. You wanna make sure your charge pipe did not come loose. You wanna make sure these are tight as well. You want to make sure this pipe did not come off the turbo. It's kind of hard to see. You also want to make sure this pipe right here did not come off the turbo. You want to make sure your charge pipe is still connected to the turbo, the front and the back one. And you also want to make sure this pipe right here that goes to the turbo as well, the inlet. You want to make sure the inlet pipe did not come off. Make sure all your vacuum lines are connected. There's one right here and there's another T fitting on the bottom that goes to the J pipe. You also want to make sure the J pipe clamps are tight to the charge cooler and you have your band, your locking band on the J pipe to the throttle body. Make sure all your plugs are in properly and that should be it guys. Onto the test drive. Can you guys see that gas prices in California right now is crazy, man. $6.59 for 91. And E85 is $3.79, which is not bad. Too bad I'm too chicken to run for E85. Hopefully if I fix my boost problem today, I'm gonna be switching probably to E30. I'm gonna be trying to run E30 because I cannot commit to going for E85, guys. So right now I'm on a stage two, boot move stage two. I do have a custom tune as well, but that's the spicy fun tune and it's too obnoxious to daily. So I've been on a stage two for about a week. I already don't like it as much. The startup is very shaky. And um, so I'm willing to try the E30 and see what that feels like. And yeah, guys, so right now I'm gonna 
do a couple of the pulls and see if I fix my boost leak issues. Let's see. Take that out, P3 gauge. traffic on a Saturday eventually all right guys so I just got back home the car feels great I guess the loose charge pipe was my problem there's no more suction or sucking noise coming from under the hood dude thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'm gonna be going e30 pretty soon i'm gonna do a comparison video i got some dino days coming up i'll catch you guys in the next one peace